Okay, so um, we now have the magnitude for velocity and acceleration and the y, but we need to get the direction. How do we know if it is up or down? Well, our uh, equation is coming from this. If the result is positive, then it is up. If the result is negative, then it is down. That's just it. Yeah. It is up and up. Eh? Since positive, siya. since positive is on V1, then it is up. Positive is up. Since positive is on acceleration, the same sila sign sang velocity, therefore the same sila dapat direction. It's check na lang visually, para ma-verify ito ang result. We have equation na uh, y is plus x squared minus 4 is plus 100. Say this is ninety six, so. and this is two. Sixteen feet. 
This is fifteen. Two, three, four, five. So I'm adding sixteen now. It is sixteen. X plus to 16, not Y. So that is our X. And at this time, of course, we have velocity. Vx. V go. Hey, Shafi. Of course, I'm not on velocity. And Vx at that time is still 4. And Vy is 112. Na ano lang siya na short term lang, pero tas taas, hindi natin yung V1. So yung acceleration niya at the time is... Acceleration niya is... ng 32. That's why taas siya. It's supposed to be gilid taas taas dapat. So yung ito na itsura. I-imagine na lang na taas na ito yung parabola. Parabola. Okay, correct man, because why my long question, Vx equals R in Vx. May constant yung Vx. That's why parabola siya. Kaya yung kimiara ka mag-in na acceleration in vertical direction, which is like inverse yung projectile. That's why tas taas siya ang itsura. Ano siya dapat? Velocity yan, tas taas mo naman ito. Pag ito may lang na ito, this x, lubot yung isa din pag haba. Okay, so if you have questions now, please do so ask in the chat box. Tapos ako na lang ang tapos ako na lang ang sample problems na natin. This is an example of projectile motion. Oh yeah, tapos di sabi ka daw na ano pa mo tango ba? Sige, last to na. We go now to the projectile motion. Wala pa tasa ng circular motion, no? You know, from circular motion, pero araw na gusto sa sample problems sa dalawa. Okay, so let's do this one. Uh, the trajectory of a space probe makes an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal when it is moving at 10,000 miles per hour. Of course, correction is to be made by the thruster engines when the trajectory is at 30 degrees to the horizontal or with the horizontal, the same as it. Assuming the relation acceleration is constant at 30 feet per second squared during this unpowered flight, what time interval? Should elapse before the cluster engines are ignited. What is the increase in altitude in this interval? So, the question. Uh, let's problem and mission. One thing for the problem. If the pool of the subgroup. So first, tambal ya. The trajectory of a space probe will make an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal when it is moving at 10,000 miles per hour. Wait, kapag yung kung di insist bong pero tambal yung yung with the horizontal, meaning in reference to the horizontal, meaning somewhere are in siguro somewhere sa bago. So yun yung tayo na tayo sa tanong kung sumong alibi blue 60 feet 10,000 miles. So, I don't know. Wait, I'm going to go back. So, 60 degrees is here with the horizontal. Meaning, the amount of the velocity initially is 10,000. That's it, that's it. That's per hour with the horizontal. All right. I don't know. I don't know if it's ground. I don't know if it's ground. I don't know if it's ground. It's the initial speed. I don't know if it's somewhere in the ground. Tama na ito na initial starting point. Of course, correction is to be made na by the thruster engines when the trajectory is 30 to the horizontal, meaning, tiki, since tama na ito na initial boosting, then it will, ano eh, it will move something like this. Pero, somewhere along here, it's a BR edition. Ang, ano da, ang angle na da, which is tangent, is 30 na. Now, 
Apa ya? Samun aku no. Aku selection is to be made by custom engines. When the trajectory is up, the trajectory is down to the horizontal. Okay, so that's all correct. Assume gravitational acceleration is constant, 30 feet per second. So gravity is 30 feet per second squared. Kamu nanya tentang apa? Ang illustration. During this unpowered flight, unpowered flight. What time interval must it elapse before the thrust and jets are ignited? And what is the increase? That's why increase the interval. And what is the increase? Pena kita ni. Dari tu ni perlu mahu tahu. How how do we solve this one? First, let's apply the principles of projectile motion. Projectile motion, there is only acceleration along y. There is no acceleration along x. Therefore, the velocity component along x is the same. So we can get v zero x here and equate it here. The same as that. Area to the variable. What's important is the v zero x. Let's solve the v zero x. V zero x is equal to v x. This is equal to v zero cosine theta, which is ten thousand miles per hour. It's that thing. Bi, semua dalam anu re. Anu ni ni tau FPS re. Miles per hour. Feet. So miles per hour. Let's convert it. One hour. Three thousand six hundred seconds. And miles one point six oh nine. Kali pat go. One point six oh nine. Kenapa belum pun berdo? Shift eight, shift eight zero seven. Shift, ayo shift, shift mana kamu? Bagaimana ni? Shift eight zero seven. Shift eight zero seven. Miles to kilometer. Ah, tak boleh. Shift. Eight seven seven. Ayo nak dapat one. Hamil tu pun tak. Cepat. Empat puluh sembilan kilometer. So miles miles kilometer per second. Kilometer per second. Ada rekening conversion dalam miles per meter mana lipat ker? Kau tak kalah lipat ker lah? Okay, so our our miles miles kilometer kilometer meter meter. So this would be my feet feet per second. Oh, tidak sih kita nak. So, boleh kau pergi lihat time sana sana. Sa call sign. Call sign sixty. Which is half. Seven three two nine. Thank <laughs> you.
okay that is our v0 x muna ito yung v0 x constant na siya therefore muna dyan kung siya at 30 degrees to the horizontal so ano yung mo onta sa inyo man makuha ka na siya pwede tayo makuha ka na pwede tayo makuha ka na makuha ka na Vy. What's the factor Vy? We have defined the velocity and the initial velocity. And we can get the change in altitude and the time. Project that. Okay. So V zero, V x, check V x. More than so V x. So Vy is V x divided by. Ah, can you see? Tangent thirty is V Y V X V X is seven three two nine eighty nine V Y is times tangent thirty is four two. Four two three one point ninety one FPS. That is the final velocity. Found the initial velocity. And this is why it's so close. Ten thousand. Are you alone? Gamay ka na taong ba yung sixty degrees? Okay, so seventy two nine times tangent sixty degrees. Two thousand six nine five point seven four FPS. Okay, so we have final Vy and initial Vy. We can use this one to get the change in altitude and the time, of course. First, let's solve the time. Solve the time. Uh, I'm questioning about the time interval. So, Vy minus V0Y uh, plus minus GT. You put up usually plus minus, but you can eliminate from Malaysia. Let me unlock most of plus minus. Um, the final is 4231.91 minus initial number 695.74 divided by mean motion negative negative any motion negative in a period per me negative then acceleration of projected downward which is in this case 30 you know, feet per second so feet per second feet per second feet per second squared we have time uh, in terms of seconds Four, two, uh. Four two point ah four two three one point ninety one minus that divided by thirty is two eight two two eight two point thirteen seconds. That's the time interval. What about the change in altitude or the increase in height? Altitude lang, no isang height. Still the same. Or pwede mo talo gamit sa equation. Pero tiri mas kasi. 2G, 2GY. 4231.91 squared minus 1265.74 squared to 30. What is 4231.91 squared minus squared divided by 30. Wow. What about that? Wow. What about that? Wow. Wow. Four two three one two three one. Sorry. 